that car. Can I sit in it? Sure. <laughs> wow. That was sweet. It's got to be one of the most iconic movie cars of all it time. Is. Chasing Classic Cars is a U.S. television documentary series on Motor Trend that focuses on doing exactly what the title says. The TV series is centered around the host, Wayne Carini, as he finds and takes a look at classic cars from all eras, trying to get them running or restored before flipping them for a profit, which sometimes doesn't work out as well as it sounds. Wayne Carrini is an American master car restorer and TV personality who rose the popular acclaim due to his appearance in Chasing Classic Cars. He's a car fanatic with several enterprises under his wing and has garnered a net worth hefty enough to afford himself a life of luxury. So join us as we explore the luxurious lifestyle of Wayne Carrini. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. That's great. Oh my gosh. Couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was this beautiful Lamborghini Miura with dust and dirt all over. Wayne was born on October 13, 1951 in Portland, USA. His father owned a car restoration business on Mott Hill Road in Glastonbury, Connecticut. And from spending time at his father's repair shop, Wayne became interested in cars. His passion for automobiles got instilled in him from an early age. He always attended car expositions with his father. And at age nine, he got behind the wheel of a 1960 Rosso Chiaro 250 SWB Ferrari and was so Sold on cars for life. Wayne's interest in cars led him to start sweeping the floors of his father's shop in grade school and earning just $5 weekly. Then he moved on to working after school and during summers, fixing Lincolns, Packards, and Dustinbergs. He gained experience and expertise working with his father at the restoration shop. After high school, he went to college and graduated with a degree in art education. He aspired to be a teacher, but gave up that dream and followed in his father's footsteps, becoming one of the most popular car restorers in the United States. Aside from the experience he gained from working with his father, Wayne mastered the art of restoring Ferraris from his mentor, Francois Sicard, a veteran Ferrari racing mechanic regarded as the foremost Ferrari expert on the East Coast. He also learned under the tutelage of his good friend Luigi Cinetti Jr., whose father, Luigi Cinetti Sr., won the 1949 24 Hours of Le Mans for Ferrari. Wayne's connection to Cinetti got him introduced to the first Ferrari dealership in the country. Since getting introduced to the first Ferrari dealership in the country, Wayne has owned and operated three car-related businesses in Portland, Continental Auto Ltd, Carini Carrozzeria, and F40 Motorsports. Continental Auto is a collision repair facility that specializes in fixing high-end and exotic vehicles. Carini Carrozzeria focuses on car restoration, while F40 Motorsports buys and sells vintage and classic cars. Wayne Carini never intended to pursue a career in reality TV, but his successes in the car restoration scene were just too much to ignore. Producers read about him in the New York Times and jumped on the chance to use him as a presenter for Chasing Classic Cars, which launched in 2008. Jim Atrosky, the CEO of SX Television Group Inc., was one of the few people in the filming industry that recognized Wayne's success and the opportunity it presented. Atrosky offered Wayne the opportunity to develop a television show based on how he chases antique automobiles daily at his F40 Motorsports car dealership. Wayne grabbed the opportunity, signed the deal, and has been on the show since it premiered. The show has earned worldwide recognition as one of the best automotive series in the world, earning Wayne a reputation as one of the best auto restorers on the planet. On the show, viewers are treated to a behind-the-scenes look at the world of car restoration. They get to see Wayne meet interesting characters and uncover incredible stories attached to the cars he comes across. Wayne Carrini is one of the major reasons chasing classic cars is so successful. That and the engaging narrative and high production value of the TV docuseries. Thanks to his expertise and pleasant personality, Wayne is key to the show's success. One memorable car Wayne discovered on the show is a 1957 Mercedes-Benz 300 SO Gullwing. The SO Gullwing is one of the most coveted classic cars in the world, and Wayne restored it to its former glory, selling it for a whopping price tag of $790,000. 
While on the job, Wayne also had the opportunity to work on a car with a Guinness Book of Records award. This car was a red Volvo P1800 owned by Irv Gordon until 2018. It holds the Guinness Book of Records for having the highest mileage of 3.2 million miles. Aside from chasing classic cars, Wayne has also worked on other projects for TV. He made a special appearance on Overhauling, a reality TV show about cars. Wayne's appearance was in the episode titled SEMA Special Chrysler. 800. He also starred in a two-hour long television special documentary called Monterey Week for Discovery's HD channel. Monterey Week is an event where thousands of people travel from all over the world to Monterey, California to witness the largest and most famous gathering of automobiles in the world. Hundreds of luxury automobiles are auctioned off at different car auctions at the event. Wayne provided an insider's look at the automobiles, finances, and deals that made this event a must-see for anybody interested in the automotive industry. He was also one of the judges at the event. Wayne is very good at his job and is one of the best restorers in the business and a well-known TV personality. He has amassed a net worth of over $20 million. Most of this net worth results from his successful classic car sale venture, but a significant portion was earned from the many TV programs he's been on. How does Wayne Carini spend all his money? What do you do when you're a car enthusiast with a $20 million net worth? Well, you probably buy iconic cars that are highly sought after because of their rarity. This is exactly what Wayne Carini has done. Over the years, Wayne has amassed an incredible car collection. The car that stands out the most in Wayne's collection is his yellow 1953 Hudson Italia. So this is the car that started it all, my obsession for weird and unusual cars. You know, I loved cars anyways as a kid. I loved Ferraris. But this car came into my father's shop when I was 16 years old. It came for a little scratch in the fender, and I fell in love with it at 16 years old. For 36 years, Wayne has worked to get his hands on this car designed by Frank Spring. Despite being made in 1953, it has some impressive specifications. It has an incredibly powerful engine and a lightweight body to make the power-to-weight ratio as close as it could be for the time. The Hudson Italia was one of the first production cars to be equipped with a built-in radio and air conditioning. While these features are standard in today's his cars, it was unheard of at the time. Wayne's Hudson Italia is one of only 26 models produced. While the Hudson is undoubtedly special to Wayne, it's a bit boring compared to other cars in his collection. Wayne owns cars that have a racing pedigree. He owns a red Ford GT40 race car that always turns heads when it shows up at car meets. This Ford GT is the most dominant car in Wayne's collection. It was built for the 1967 Can-Am racing season and was driven by legendary racers George Fulmer, Peter Revson, and Jack Brabham. This Ford GT is powered by the iconic Ford 427 V8 engine, and while it is decades old, it's still a car that rips on the racetrack. Another remarkable car in Wayne's collection is a 1949 Buick convertible driven in the movie Rain Man by Tom Cruise and Dustin Hoffman. Other than that, he also owns some beautiful classic Ferraris. A 275 GTB and an elegant 330 GTC are some of the notable ones he owns. He also owns a 1972 Porsche 911 Coupe. Despite an obvious affinity for classic cars, Wayne owns some modern cars. He reportedly used to have a 1986 Mercedes-Benz 560 SO Roadster, a 2010 Tesla Roadster Sport, another Porsche, and many more. Despite working on and owning numerous automobiles, he became particularly connected to and interested in the two identical 1931 Stutz Bearcats. The Stutz Bearcats is a pre-World War II American sports car. He eventually purchased two 1931 models for $30 each from a trader in Georgia. However, Wayne's all-time favorite vehicle is the Ferrari 250 SWB, which he first drove when he was nine. Wayne Carini's car collection is a veritable treasure trove of automotive design and history. And each automobile in Wayne's collection, from rare and pricey sports car to great classics, is a monument to his enthusiasm and competence. This car collection reflects Wayne's passion for antique cars and is an important historical automotive design and engineering record. His passion for vintage cars shines through in everything he does. Away from TV shows and cars, Wayne enjoys traveling around the world and meeting other car enthusiasts like himself. 
He has stayed married to his wife for almost four decades. They have two daughters together and a grandson who also loves cars, trucks, and anything that moves. Wayne lives with his family on a farm in rural Connecticut. His latest adventure is Carini Vineyards, a place where he makes wine and holds charity events. One of Wayne's daughters, Kimberly, was diagnosed with autism at an early age. She's an important part of the family, and because of her, Wayne and the entire family have made helping autism charities a huge part of their lives. In one instance, Wayne auctioned an Italian bimbo racer V12, one of the cars from his collection, and the proceeds were channeled to the Autism Speaks organization.